All right, hi, and welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren, late night edition. We have coronavirus updates, legal updates here. COVID-19, the state of California. Now the entire state, it was just in the county of San Francisco area. Orange County has recently done a lockdown. But today, this is overriding. Governor Newsom has signed an executive order. The full executive order is here. This is official. It's on the books. A, na- a not nationwide, but a statewide stay in place order, stay at home, stay at your home or your place of residence, except as needed to maintain the continuity of operation of the federal critical infrastructure sectors. Okay, so I'm going to post a link to the full executive order if you want to read it. This is very important. So how long will this stay in effect? It's effective now through March 9th, or it's effective now, March 19th. And it is effective until further notice. That means it could go a week. It could go two weeks. It could go a month, two months. We don't know, okay? So what can I do? What's open? Essential services will remain open, such as gas stations, pharmacies, okay? You got to get your drugs. You got to get your gas, okay? Now, now I'm not quite sure, but I think the gas stations may be for more for the people that are, are performing critical essential services, because if you have to stay at home, you don't really need gas, right? Um, food, grocery stores, farmers markets, food banks will remain open, convenience stores. So you can go down the store, you can probably walk out to the store and go grab yourself something at the convenience store. Take out and delivery. If you want to go to your local barbecue shop, get some, pick up some ribs and go home, you can do that. Banks will be open. You got to get your money and all that. You got to transact your business. Laundromats, you got to do your laundry. Okay, essential state and local government functions will also remain open. So that's good to know, including law enforcement. They're not going anywhere and offices that provide government programs and services. Okay, what's closed? Dine in restaurants. You cannot go dine in anymore. They remember they want to keep the six feet of separation. Okay, social distancing is what they call it. Bars and nightclubs closed. Entertainment venues closed. Um, Las Vegas is having a big meltdown right now. They're they're looking for bailouts, okay? Closed. Gyms, and now that's a different state, so I'm not commenting on that. Gyms and fitness studios. Now, you can't go to gyms and fitness studios. Why? Um, People are sweating. Body fluids everywhere. They're working out close to each other. Closed. Those, Those businesses are really suffering right now, okay? Public events and gatherings. Closed. Convention centers. No more conventions. Closed until further notice okay where does this apply folks this is in effect throughout the state of california now going back up i want to just show you this real quick there are certain federal critical infrastructure sectors and i'm going to hit on this real quick just to give you a look at what we're talking about here okay identifying critical infrastructure during covid19 here we have it So these industries are going to be remaining open, okay? I have a friend in the steel business. He says, I'm going to, we're going to continue. We're part of the supply chain. We're part of the critical infrastructure. Communications, we know that news and media stations are open. Chemical, pharmacies, labs, those kinds of things. Critical manufacturing, I'm not sure what that means. We don't know. Dams, dam services. Um, defense industrial base, emergency services, of course, we've got to keep them open, commercial facilities, Uh, I'm not sure what that means, energy, okay, food and agriculture, got to keep the food supply chain going, financial sectors will remain open, government facilities, nuclear reactors, these kinds of things, water, information technology, okay, transportation systems will remain open, we know that, Okay, now I find that to be interesting because I think we should kind of shut down buses and railways and and smart rails and all these things, but it's not going to happen right now, apparently. Now, this is not legal information. This is not legal advice. This is just this is just general information. We will see how all these things shake out. And of course, healthcare and public health are not going anywhere. That's this. They're going to be probably the hardest hit. So we're going to see what happens, folks. But I want you to be aware of this. This is very important. This is breaking news by Attorney Steve. This is the order. This is what's going on. It is in effect now. Please stay home. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know if you're you're affected, 
We do offer low cost consultation to help give you interpretation so that you don't violate the order. If you violate the order, could result in serious legal consequences. So be very careful, be safe. This is not a time to be a maverick and make your own rules and try to buck the rules. So, but I wanted to get this out to you tonight. Please understand the rules, look them up, make sure you understand what you're doing. You don't want to go out tomorrow and find out that you're only, you're breaking the law. You're breaking an order, okay? So be safe, everybody. Be kind to each other. Don't panic. And, but I just wanted to give this information to you this evening, okay? Have a pleasant evening. You can find me on the web at attorneysteve.com. Have a great evening.